In the old times, there were people who shepherded sheep and looked after them. Move on, you lazy sheep. They are tired from walking all day. They are hungry and thirsty too, Dad. We are all hungry, Bashur, but we must cross this desert first. Your father is right. When we reach a land with crops and shade, we will eat and rest. Hasroon, Hasroon, the grapes seem good in the vineyard. Should we ask the girls to collect them? No, we are waiting for tomorrow when the grapes mature more and the sweetness increases. Then we sell it for more. Of course, I'll ride the donkey and check the whole wine yard first. You did not tell me, Mr. Mehrak, in what land would you advise me to camp tonight? There is a vacant land that no one owns next to the wine yard. Is it a flat ground that we can set up tents on? Absolutely! Is this land safe or wolves might attack us? How can wolves reach the middle of the pastures? Thank you, sir. I really can't wait to sleep after my long trip. What is this foul smell? They are strangers. They have left their sheep to roam the empty land next to us. Oh, so be it. Let's go to sleep so we can wake up early. <sighs> I feel like sleeping too. Won't you tie the sheep before going to bed? Will the sheep fly at night or decide to return to the desert? Well, this saves me time so I can fall asleep quickly. And tomorrow, God willing, we will go to the market and sell sheep milk. Right, Abital? He want to hear your mom. He's gone to sleep. It's a better that we sleep too. And everyone went into deep sleep, except the hungry sheep who saw before them enough food to satisfy their hunger. What a beautiful day! No! 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 Ah! What is this? Certainly this is a nightmare! It's really scarier than nightmares! Oh! The work of the whole year is wasted! <laughs> I will kill whoever did this in my garden! It's the sheep with the traces of grapes visible on their mouths! Where are the sheep owners? What is this noise? Don't you consider the feelings of your neighbors? Look, father, what did the sheep do with the vineyard? What a disaster! Are you the owner of the sheep? Unfortunately, yes. You won't get away with it! Please, calm down, Mr. Hasroon! How can I calm down when they have destroyed my land and my business has gone bankrupt because of them? I understand your situation, sir, but they are just mindless sheep. You are the sheep owner, and you are bound to compensate me for my loss. I have two silver coins. Our land is worth a thousand silver, not two. But this is an exaggeration. You are thieves! Calm down, O oh people, and go to the prophet of God, David, to judge between you. Inna Allah ya'murukum antu addu al-amanat ila ahliha wa idha hakamtum bayna al-nasi antahkumu bil-adl. Inna Allah ni'im ma ya'yadhukum bih. إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ سَمِيعًا بَصِيرًا
Prophet of God David gathered the compliment and the accused and listened to both sides. O oh, Prophet of God David, I have a vineyard that I have been growing for years, and this man, he brought his sheep and spoiled all of my cultivation. Oh, Prophet, the sheep are just mindless animals. They ate away the vineyard without my knowledge. God's prophet David asked him where he was when the sheep ate his neighbor's crop. In fact, I was asleep. God tired then fell asleep. It is fair, my master. Oh, prophet of God, for a man to leave his sheep untied to destroy the yield of another man. Believe me, O prophet of God, the matter was out of my control. I did not mean to harm. But I have been harmed due to your negligence, and my land has become barren. Where do I eat from now? Unfortunately, I have no money to compensate you with. Give me justice, O prophet. After the Prophet of God gave them both a fair hearing, he decided that they exchanged the barren land and the sheep. Long live justice! Indeed, the Prophet has done us justice! What a pity! How will we live? We made a mistake, Mom, and we must pay for it. The owner of the vineyard went away with the sheep that the Prophet gave to him. What is wrong with you, man? Are you not satisfied with the decision of the Prophet of God, David? Rather satisfied, but... What is the problem? Answer me. We are not used to taking care of sheep and we have no experience in this matter. I thought you would be happy, Hasrun, with this great compensation. Oh, woe. Woe to us. Our lifetime hard work was gone in a blink of an eye. I wish we had not slept and let the sheep eat the neighbor's crops. Is it fair that we lose our capital and our trade because of a mistake made by the sheep? We are the ones who tend the sheep, and we should have paid attention to them. But dad, the punishment is greater than the mistake. Don't waste time on the empty talk. Think about what we will do now. We have no choice but to look for work. Peace be upon you, O Abital. Welcome, sir. What are you doing here? God's prophet Suleiman heard the story from me and he wants you right away. Come on, my wife. Hurry. Lest we should be late. One moment. This sheep is too difficult to milk. It is you who does not work properly. Come on, or I'll go without you. Well, okay, I will come with you. I do not understand why the Prophet of God Solomon wanted us. Did not his father rule in our case and the matter is over? He asked his father's permission for a retrial. And this time he will be the judge. We judge by our traditions as for the prophets, they judge by what is revealed to them. I didn't understand anything you said. And you won't, no matter how much I explain. Let's hurry and keep quiet. This is exactly what happened, O Prophet of God Sulaiman. Yes, Abital told the whole truth. I have nothing to add, sir. The Prophet of God, Suleiman, listened to both parties carefully and then decided that the owner of the vineyard should take the sheep to profit from them until the shepherd fixes his land. And once that is done, the sheep will return to him. Long live justice. It has become easy. I will wait. I will wait until the vineyard returns to how it was. Then I will have no need for your sheep, so I will return them to you. Everyone is satisfied then with the grace of Allah and the wisdom of his prophet Suleiman, peace be upon him. 
وداود وسليمان إذ يحكمان في الحرث إذ نفشت فيه غنم القوم وكنا لحكمهم شاهدين ففهمناها سليمان وكلا آتينا حكما وعلما وسخرنا مع داود الجبال يسبحن والطير وكنا فاعلين